Let's so to say you thrive under a level uh, under a level of pressure during your career. Do you have any specific stories that you can share personify that really? Um, specific ones. I mean, a lot of them. I mean, my 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 whole life. I mean, I think when you my whole life, I since I was since I was ten years old. I mean, everyone has expected me to to be the absolute best, you know. And it's like, all right, well, you're the number one. At this, can you do it? Can you, you're, all right, well, you're the number one in create. Okay, well, now you're ranked number one in the country. And it was just like, well, can you sustain it? That was it. So I mean, that alone was something that was difficult. It was never. I mean, I was. There wasn't many tournaments in my life I walked into and I wasn't favored to win. It wasn't about winning. It was about well dominating. You know, and that's just like what I knew. And that was that was fun. And that was the game. This is the new game. You know, how can I help the kids feel the same way? Um, how can I help these kids just wrestle, go out, and, and obviously all the external things that are out there, you know, and just help them, uh, you know, believe in what we're doing and um, believe in themselves. And sometimes just like, sometimes kids just need to get, almost sometimes get out of their own way, you know? And I think those are some things that I can relate to with them. And, um, and it's going to be a lot of relationships, a lot of people. And, that's, uh, you know, I think that's going to be the fun and enjoying process of this is just, it's going to be a, a deeper impact on people, you know, on a day to day basis that's going to impact them for the rest of their life. You know, obviously with your name, your buzz, your pedigree as a wrestler, you have a lot of buzz recruiting wise nationally. Uh, how do you plan on balancing that level and, I guess, recruiting in the state too? Yeah, I mean, it, you know, the state of Oklahoma will be our, our you know, our foundation. Um, so you know, obviously, we gotta do our do our diligence and get out there. And, and uh, but Oklahoma has been producing some really good wrestlers. And uh, you know, it's I'm not as familiar with it right now, but I can tell you here very shortly, we'll be very familiar with it. And uh, but, we, but we want people that are gonna wrestle the way we want to wrestle. You know, and is that the number one guy? Is that the number four guy? Is that the number eight guy? We want guys that want to be here primary. Um, we want guys that want to get better. You know, we see. Um, and then one thing about Oklahoma State is. You can recruit the whole country. They've done that forever. You know, Coach Smith did a great job of doing that, um, and we can recruit the whole country. And uh, you know, it's about finding the right people that fit our program, and uh, you know, right, high character guys wrestle hard. You know, want to score points, um, and want to be part part of something special. You know, we're going to build something um, really special here moving forward. Chad Richardson was saying that he tried to get you interested in the OU job a year ago. <laughs> How much do you remember from that? No, he said he he, uh, he he messaged me, and I never got that message. Um, never got that message, which is kind of crazy how things just kind of find a way to, to loop back around. But you know, Chad's going to be extremely valuable and, and important um, in in the development of these of this program moving forward. And um, you can't be successful without the resource. You can't be successful without the support. And, and you know, obviously, Chad is in the athletic department. Um, both Chads, you know, both Chads have been awesome to this point, and. Um, you know, excited to continue to build those relationships and move forward. How surreal has the past five, six days been for you? You know, you're you wrestling not too long ago, and now you're yeah. fixing to have your first head coaching game. Yeah, I mean, it's it's life is crazy. You know, life moves fast, and um, this is one of those really, truly life-changing decisions. Um, and I'm just grateful, grateful to be in this situation. This is a job that you everybody dreams about. It's a job that everybody thinks about. It's a job that everybody you know um, it crosses their mind you know so I think it's there's a lot of power there's a lot of tradition there's a lot of excitement um, but you know all those things don't you know produce wrestlers you know we got to go out and do our due diligence and um, but I believe in our staff and I believe in our system and I believe in our vision and uh, you know, we just got to get to work what, what does this moment look like if you had made the team does that change probably wouldn't exist yeah probably wouldn't exist you know it's hard to say Maybe, maybe not. You know, I don't know. I don't know. There could be other candidates. There could be other things. And I think life, things happen for a reason. Um, and uh, this, this opportunity was presented at a time where um, I was ready to see what was next. And uh, what an awesome opportunity that, that we have here. You said up there that the, uh, maybe the fire inside was just wasn't burning as brightly as it always had. Did you know that? Or was it after the loss that you reflected and were like, man? I'd say every day after the Olympics. Yeah, every day. You know, it's just like there are days that there. You know, and I, I was pretty open. You know, there are days that I felt felt it more. There are days I felt it less. And as time was going on, I was changing, adjusting, and um, 
yeah, it's just hard to recreate that. You know, it's hard to recreate that. Um, I think winning the Olympics is a, is a right time, the right place scenario. We've talked about that in the past. And, I, uh, you know, I think last year I think was probably the best that I was, you know. And I think this year I was I was still um, – I was obviously – I'm still I, – I, I mean, you can replay those matches. They might go different. But um, at the end of the day, you know, I think this, this – like I said, this was the end of the road. And, um, and, and I think Aaron is – obviously has a great opportunity to go do really well and he's young and he's hungry and um you know and now it's his turn uh talk about recruiting it's a different world now at the portal mm -hmm. you know are you, you guys gonna utilize it or focus on it or what you know how do you approach the transfer portal you got a plan or something <laughs> <laughs> uh you know we'll see um everything's just evaluating right now case by case you know we got to see what's best for our program you mentioned a couple times out there that this was a really tough decision for you. At what point, was there a moment that it kind of flipped that you were like, I have to take this job? There was. There was a moment of clarity. Um, I woke up uh, the morning that I um, accepted the job. And it was like, of all the days, it was like, I don't know. And I woke up that morning and it was just crystal clear, like, this is what I wanted to do. And, uh, and then it's about moving forward. What was that Monday? Day well, I don't know what, day, what day is today? I mean, <laughs> Friday. Yeah, Friday. Okay. Yeah, I think that sounds about right. Um, probably about that day. One of those days. Yeah. What had become more clear in that moment that maybe wasn't before then? Um. Yeah, I mean, this is, you, to do this, you have to really believe that it's the best. It's the best option for for you, you know, and your family and the people involved. You know, I just I thought there was a lot of people that are impacted by this decision. You know, just. I mean, it's the, the. I mean, it's it's. I think that's the hardest part, probably from the outside, is just realizing like how many people truly were impacted, you know, by this decision, and how many people are going to be impacted moving forward. And, and you're not doing it for other people. You got to do it for yourself. But also, like, I mean, I'm an empathetic person. And I'm trying to play through this scenario. So, um, but this is uh, this is this is this is something that I'm extremely excited for. You know, we're all in. You know, we're all in to help serve these student athletes, and we're all in to. Uh, do the best that we possibly can down here. The program is in the process of raising funds for uh, a bigger facility and those type of things, but obviously with no, you know, no structure, no, no blueprints at this point, how involved do you get to be in, in that? And I know there's other things you got to get to before you get there, but um, you know, how exciting is it to know that you can have your fingerprints on something like that? Forward? It's exciting. You know, I, we talked about you know just the support. You know, we talked about why, you know, wrestling is, is extremely important here. So I, I would imagine we'll have those conversations here and um, we'll see what's, what's the best fit for everybody. You've been a part of that training facility in a different spot. How important are those facilities for a program? I think it's the people that make, that make the wrestling the best. It's the coaches, it's the athletes. I mean, the facilities are nice, you know. I think we have, we have nice facilities here. Um, but it's, the facilities aren't what's going to make you the best, you know, what's going to, you know, it's going to be helping the kids, you know, you got some wrestling mats, that's going to help, you know, you got, you got a locker room, that's going to help, um, and I think there's help, you know, the, the better and nicer those things are, I think people like that stuff, um, but we just got to figure out what the best path is, but you know, ultimately, we just got, we got to get on the mat with the guys, and we got to help them, and we got to help them, uh, you know, just believe in the vision, and help them, you know, believe in themselves, and it's going to take time. You mentioned the RTC and the importance, and you got Dayton here. When do you start looking in and bringing new guys? We, the spring, the summer, you start having guys come in and be part of the RTC? I just think it's a case-by-case -case basis. You know, we just got to see what's best, best fitting, um, short-term, long-term. Um, you know, obviously, being, being from where I came from, um, you know, we obviously had the best RTC in the world, you know, and I think that was extremely important in my development and my success. So it was, it was something I think is extremely important in the development of the success of this program. Um, and I think there's ways to take the good and change some of the other things, but ultimately it's a, it's a winning formula. Um, and right now I just need to focus on, you know, building around Dayton. You know, he's a kind of, he's, he's the foundation, you know, he's the foundation. He's a guy just recently came through here and I want to help him. You know, we want to help him. Um, we got to surround him with help. If that's what he chooses to do, you know, we got to talk to him about what he wants to do. And, and, and but I believe that's kind of order number one. And then from there, figure out, plan for these guys as they finish and who wants to continue to stay and train at that level and then surrounding um, surrounding the program with great people that have that vision of being the best and uh, I think we have the ability to be selective and you know find find the right people
you have a lot of experience developing youth and high school level talent. Uh, what is the difference, if any, when it comes to developing college level kids? Well, I think at Oklahoma State, we're going to be working with the best of the best, right? And I think that's exciting. You know, I think it's different level development at the young age because you're teaching kids that don't even know how to do penetration steps, right? So you're teaching that system from the grassroots side of things. But, you know, a program like this, you're, you're working with the best guys. So I just think, um, you know, lean on, you know, Jimmy's got great experience of the last, you know, almost decade of coaching college. And, um, you know, Thomas and I have been right there being the guys that were being helped. So it's fresh in our mind and we're young. Um, so I just think it's uh, development's development, you know, and I think we got to help these guys just, I think, develop a system um, that they feel comfort comfortable in and then just go out and have the right mentality, go out and have some fun, score some points, you know, that's, that's what it's about. Describe this as a you know it was a tough decision for you and your family. Uh, could you just elaborate on sort of what what it was like for y'all as a family to sort of why it was so difficult and then ultimately what you what you saw in this that made it such a uh, worth it doing. Yeah, I mean it's just uh, <clears throat> this program has all the resources um, at its disposable at its disposal to be the best, you know. And I think we're excited about the opportunity. You know, we're excited about working with the kids. We're excited about all the extra things that go into this, the support that's around it. Um, it's just unique, that, that genuine passion, like I talked about, that's just, uh, you don't find that many places. You know, and, and I think that was what I think really drew us to this opportunity and realizing that you're not like working alongside them, you're working with them. You know, you're not just like, hey, come here and we're gonna see you later. It's like, no, we're, I mean, we're gonna, they're being ingrained in these decisions and, um, and helping us to get out of the way and you know get out you know help us you know with the you know, we have the autonomy to do what we feel like is best and um, that they're supporting of that and which is um, I think that's very rare. And, and with that being tough, was that just was it just the logistics of you know I lived moving it, the kids? I, mean, I lived it for fifteen years. You know, lived it for fifteen years. You know, we had a lot of things, a lot of a lot of relationships. We had a lot of things ingrained in the community. Um, so to just turn around and leave those things right away um, in a short period of time, like the, there's, you, those are those are hard hard things to do, you know. But this is uh, this is where we're at, and we're we'll, we'll, we'll full uh, full steam ahead, you know. Here, Jimmy was obviously a coach on staff at Penn State, but a lot of the world only knows Thomas as a competitor. Mm -hmm. What did you see in him that made you want to bring him over to Oklahoma State? Uh, uh, Thomas is just um, it's just his aura. It's his energy it's his passion it's just his commitment i mean just the way that he thinks about things and the way that he cared i mean these guys are going to be so lucky to work with him i mean he's gonna whatever it's gonna take he's gonna be there to help him um he just has that demeanor he's gonna be a great coach um he's gonna be a great coach and yeah i mean i'm, I'm just i i just i think it's in a situation where you you it's you have this canvas and you blank canvas and you get to paint what you want and in doing that you, you pick the staff that you believe is, is the best staff and um, we have the opportunity to do that and uh, we're into you just just got to get to work you said you know you knew this was your last year competing did you have a long-term plan was it hey sticking around PA do M2 and grow that or was it you know I would like to coach college one day I mean, there's only, I mean, I always thought, you know, there's a, there's a, there's only a couple of places that I ever want to coach in college, you know, and this one had been, co you, know, you know, 33 years, this was one of them, you know, so I think that, like I said, it's just one of those things that, you know, it wasn't on, it was on the front of my list, or was it second or third, I mean, it was just always on the list, it was always something we had talked about, and when it came available and it was real, it's something to really, really consider, but yeah, we had, like I said, we you know, we had, we had businesses in town, we had a successful wrestling club, you know, I, I had, uh, you know, a lot of opportunities to continue to stay there and wrestle, so I just, you know, for pe people wondering if, if I want to be here, yeah, I want to be here. Because if I didn't, I would have stayed home. You know, I want to be here, and um, and uh, yeah, I mean, we just we got work to do. You know, and I think that's the that's the fun part. It's a new challenge. It's a new challenge. It's something. It's a new game. It's a new way that you can help people, and um, that's something that I'm really passionate about. The staff is really passionate about, and gotta get started. Before you were a candidate, just what was your reaction when John retired? You know, Coach Smith was, uh, you know, was and is an absolute legend as a competitor, as a coach, and you know he had the opportunity to coach as long as he wanted to. You know, he decided that it was his time was to be done, and, um, and he's been really supportive of, of this decision, and he's uh, I think excited for you know for us to be here. How important was that that he showed the support that he has? Oh, extremely, you know, extremely supportive, you know, and. Um, 
That's huge. You know, it is, it is a big deal. You know, you want to have the support of someone like that, and, um, and I feel very confident that we do. A couple more, we'll wrap it up. What were your kind of initial conversations with the wrestlers like? You know, just, just, trying, to, just trying to connect with them, you know? Um, I think that's the advantage of being a little bit younger uh, is just connect with them. You know, a little, I think a little differently, a little deeper. You know, I think, you know, just what they're going through, we've gone through things. Like, I tell them, like, I mean, you guys are, you know, in a tough spot. You're unsure. Like, you know, we just we just kind of did the same thing. We just uprooted our families to be here around you guys. and um, But because we want to be here. And we want people here that want to be here. You know, I just explained to them, like, hey, this is the vision. Like, this is what we want to do. And, um, and they seem very excited. You know, I think early on they were kind of guarded and, and rightfully so. They've been through a lot. And as time went on, I could just see their demeanor starting to change. We started having some meetings with the guys. And we have some more meetings today. And um, you can just see they're kind of easing their, you know, whatever they're feeling. And just, hey, this is transparent. Talk to us. You know, talk to us about how you're feeling. How can we help you? We're here to help you in any way that we possibly can. I think just when you – maybe they, they – someone like we come in and there's not you just don't know you don't know what it's going to be like so we're trying to break those barriers down and ultimately we're going to go to war together you know just let them know that if you were looking forward to a, a competition this summer right now which would, would you have been able to engage with this process of, and and accept this job it, pro- no no so right place right time Shit. what's it what's uh, richardson mentioned that he texted you last year about the ou job and has kind of been engaged with you you speak to what that relationship is and what your expectation kind of with that is as you go into this i'm excited to be here at oklahoma state you know it's just right right place right time and we're here and now we're gonna get going last one from mark what's the first tournament you're gonna be coaching some of these guys at i assume this spring summer yeah i think we'll be at u20s u23s here in the next couple weeks so um we're trying to figure out the logistics and figure out uh what's best for the, the student athletes and um we're getting started quickly and then it'll be ball ball be rolling Thanks, guys.